This is a common myth that I feel people new to draft horses fall victim to and they don't know. Uh, the myth is, is that for a draft horse, you need some kind of special wide saddle, a draft horse saddle, an extra wide bar saddle, uh, you know, a, a custom fitted saddle. This is not true. Actually, most people are very surprised to find that their draft horses are very high withered and actually do not require a very wide saddle at all. Case in point, my Shire mare, she weighs anywhere between 1,800 to 2,000 pounds. Um, she wears, in a western saddle, she wears a half bar saddle, and in an English saddle, she wears a medium gullet. My quarter horse mare, on the other hand, she's a quarter horse cross. She's only about a thousand pounds. She's quite small. She actually wears full quarter horse bars and has a much wider rounder back than my draft horse Elsa does. And... So I see posts all the time of people who they just got their first draft horse or they're riding a draft horse for the first time and they're, you know, I don't know what to do about saddle fits. And then everybody hops on and they're like, here's a draft horse saddle, here's a draft horse saddle, here's a draft horse saddle. Uh, go get a go get a special fitted saddle where they like mail you this thing that you kind of like soften in the oven and then you put it on the horse's back and then you send it back in after it's formed to your horse's back and then they'll like shape a saddle to it which is very expensive to do um you don't need any of that chances are your horses not need as wide of a saddle as you think they do they do they horses don't the draft horses typically do not have very mutton chopped bodies uh there are a few videos on youtube that you can go and look at and watch that will tell you how to fit a saddle to a horse, what to look for, and how to adjust padding because usually people pad backwards so they'll see like a pressure point and they'll put a bunch of padding there when in fact what they need to do is lessen the padding there. It works backwards. Um, I, I do suggest you go to YouTube and look up some saddle fitting videos which will help out new draft horse owners a ton when they're trying out new saddles. But chances are is your draft horse does not need actually a wide saddle it probably needs a much more narrow saddle than you think it does and i i do suggest you don't just listen to a bunch of random people online especially a bunch of random people who don't have draft horses or had one draft horse and they probably didn't know what they were doing um i most tax stores will know somebody local who can come out and help you fit your saddle to your horse and they'll help you pick out a proper saddle. Sometimes they'll bring a couple extra trees or they'll bring a couple extra saddles that they own so they can kind of fit and recommend a saddle. Uh, yeah, sometimes you have to pay, but hey, it's better than buying the wrong saddle and having to return it and not getting your full money's worth. My tax store, luckily, is actually really awesome. So not only do they have a layaway program, but once you pay it off, you can take it and leave with it. And if the tag does not fit, you can actually bring it back and they'll fully refund you. It's kind of awesome that way. But I do suggest you learn how to fit a saddle to a horse. Learn what to look for. And take a few minutes to think, you know, is my horse, does my horse have really high withers? Are they quite narrow? Just because they are very big around and they have a very big girth, does not mean that their back is actually really big, wide, and flat. Typically, draft horses actually do have very narrow withers and don't actually require a very wide tree. They actually typically require a much more narrow tree than your typical quarter horse. 